I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most real fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. and all of the McCabe family that comes in from Dolores for this Mass this morning and including Noel Batchik and her family in prayer as well. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the paths of your only begotten Son, that through his coming we may be found worthy to serve you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I, the Lord your God, I am holding you by the right hand. I tell you, do not be afraid, I will help you. Do not be afraid, Jacob, poor worm, Israel, puny might, I will help you. It is the Lord who speaks. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. See, I turn you into a threshing sled, new with doubled teeth. You shall thresh and crush the mountains and turn the hills to chaff. You shall winnow them and the wind will blow them away. The gale will scatter them. But you yourself will rejoice in the Lord and glory in the Holy One of Israel. The poor and the needy ask for water, and there is none. Their tongue is parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not abandon them. I will make rivers well up on barren heights and fountains in the midst of valleys. Turn the wilderness into a lake and dry ground into water spring. In the wilderness, I will put cedar trees, uh, acacias, myrtles, olives. In the desert, I will plant juniper, plane tree and cypress side by side, so that men may see and know, may all observe and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this, that the Holy One of Israel has created it. 
The word of the Lord. Be to God. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. I will give you glory, O God, my King. I will bless your name forever. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. We may rejoice in your presence with sincerity of heart. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. In my heart and on my lips that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds. I tell you solemnly of all the children born of women, a greater than John the Baptist has never been seen. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he is. Since John the Baptist came up to the present time, the kingdom of heaven has been subjected to violence, and the violent are taking it by storm, because it was towards John that all the prophecies of the prophets and of the law were leading. And he, if you will believe me, is the Elijah who was to return. If anyone has ears to hear, let him listen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away all our sins. There's a nice little catchphrase for the radio. Promotion department should be paying attention there. If anyone has ears to hear, let him listen. And we use that. Uh, <laughs> you only know you get this here. Are you paying attention? Good. Um, and we have it uh, on, we've used the catchphrase from for Mark's Gospel as well. Listen to him, of course, our lady's own words. Um, because faith comes through hearing. Do you know that when you're baptized, that the priest uh, anoints your ears or blesses your ears and your mouth? Uh, it's a short little blessing called the Ephatha, that your, your ears may be open to hear God's word and your mouth to proclaim his praise. It's a lovely moment during the rite of baptism of a baby there. Uh, because we, we, that's, that's not how we learn to speak. Is it not how we learn at college and wherever all the studies we, we do? And certainly here at Holy Mass, when the Word of God is proclaimed, it's not just to, you know ink on a page or words from a, from a, a book. Uh, it's it's very, so much more than that. It's a living word and a life-giving word. And so it's not just listening, whereas in hearing it go come in, it, it's, we look for it to take root in our hearts and to to well up in our hearts, like the lovely imagery of Isaiah, and uh, his his readings are just overflowing. They're bursting out really with the, these organic images of growth, of life-giving water, uh, of you know a list of trees and plant life and fruit-bearing plants. That the Lord has come to to bless the earth with the rains and with the sun and with the, the seasons. But that's uh, the imagery that he uses to captivate our minds and hearts. Again, we're listening with more than just our ears that this is God's 
righteousness that is raining down. That's part of Isaiah that we're here for Advent. You know, rain down righteousness upon the world so that justice may be done, that peace may prevail. And, and this is a different kind of flowing water. It's God's mercy, really. And, and in that mercy, forgiveness can be found. And with forgiveness, trust. And with trust, then communion. And we, we grow. This is our task as followers of Christ always, to try to continue on the path of communion, which necessitates forgiveness and repentance and obliges again the, the, our, our acknowledging our sins and our woundedness and our frailty, receiving that mercy and then bringing that mercy to fruit to others. It's a great, uh, great challenge for us, which is why the psalm, that beautiful line, the Lord is kind, full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. Slow to anger, certainly. Look at this, the millennia that passed, certainly hundreds upon hundreds of years through the times of the prophets that Christ speaks of. And finally, the coming, the second coming of Elijah was foretold uh, in one of the last books of the Old Testament. And it was one of the signs that the Messiah was on his way. And so this is what the Lord is referring to there. And they're wondering, you know, could you remember when Jesus asked, who do people say I am? Well, some say you're Elijah. So you're, you're the one finally, who's kind of precursor of the one who is to come. Uh, and in fact, it's John the Baptist. And it becomes very clear then, once we're aware of that, the, the, the lineage of the prophets culminating in John the Baptist. And there's one coming after me whose strap of whose sandal I'm not fit to undo, is the way John the Baptist describes it. Uh, and of course, he sends his disciples to follow Christ uh, ultimately. And he must decrease so that the Lord can increase and, of course, giving of his life in the end. So uh, the kingdom of heaven was there in their midst. Christ was speaking to them. And he's here now in our midst if we only have the ears to hear and the heart to listen actively to and to see that the, the, the world is seeking to take that kingdom, the violent are seeking to take that kingdom by storm. There are those who reject outright the faith and the church, who reject Christ, and we experience it ourselves. We feel the tension, we feel the opposition uh, to our faith as we seek to live it. So again, we're hearing, not just with our ears, maybe it's hopefully affirming for us God's word, the task that we have on hand to be other John the Baptist, because the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he is. So we stand and pray and open our hearts again to the Lord's great mercy and beseech a share in that mercy through our prayers. God, our heavenly Father, pour out your grace upon your church throughout the world that like Elijah, like John the Baptist, like your divine son, that word may be proclaimed always and everywhere and all may come to believe in him. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We thank you for our Mariathon day two and the great blessings that flow through our ministry and our work here, proving for us, Lord, your wonderful presence in our midst where two or three are gathered and in the work we seek to do, evangelizing our people. So continue to bestow your blessing upon the work of Radio Maria here in Ireland and indeed Radio Maria right throughout the world in the 85 and more stations that are continuing to grow too. This is a real time of our Blessed Lady. So may our work, Lord, be fruitful always in your honour. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord, may our ears be open to listen, to hear, to hear attentively and to act upon your sacred word, which is the power of your spirit proclaimed to our hearts each day. So bless us in our faith and re-enkindle through our adoration and period of prayer here this nine days as well, the light of faith in the hearts and minds of all your people. And we ask, Lord, that our prayers be fruitful on behalf of all for whom we pray. 
Lord, hear us. The culture of life, too, is very close to our hearts. Lord, we are mindful of the great vulnerability of the sanctity of life in the womb. And mothers with child, especially during Advent, anticipating the birth of Christ. So we lift up to this intention with our adoration as well, for the protection and sanctity of human life in the womb, and indeed the blessing and gift that is all human life. Lord, hear us. As always, including our political and civic leaders, the onerous task they have to minister the resources of our country fairly, and um, those leaders around the world too, to help them to guide us, Lord, on the path of health, of life, and indeed of a just distribution of the abundant resources that you bestow upon our world. Lord, hear us. Lord, and as always, remembering all our dear listeners and friends, all who have asked us to be included in prayer. So many indeed are the number of intentions that we receive. We commend them all to you, Lord, all who are sick or suffering, whose lives are laden or are heavily burdened in any way. So especially this Mass for Maria Miguel Artigues and all the McCabe family, and Dolores too, asking for this intention today. And Noel Batchik as well, who is in touch with us and listens regularly, and her family too, every blessing as well. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Mindful, Lord, again of the great needs of the world today. Uh, mindful especially of those persecuted and those heavily burdened, Lord, through the, again, the unavailability of food, of water, of resources that are rightfully theirs. So bring an end to violence and conflict. Bring an end to injustice in our world. As you come to us at Christmas time, may we help to sow seeds of peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, and for all the holy souls in purgatory, our dear departed relatives and friends, this time of year many mourn the loss of loved ones and feel more keenly their absence. So may our faith assure us, Lord, that they are safe in your care and that if indeed they are passing through purgatory, may it be a speedy deliverance they receive and all may be granted with you eternal rest. Lord, hear us. Lord, we take a moment now to add our own prayers. God, our Heavenly Father, we take great courage from the words of your Son today that the least in the kingdom of heaven is considered greater even than John the Baptist. So, Lord, may we be part of your heavenly kingdom too as your children and grant all the prayers we make through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Except we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and work of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit. Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. As we 
celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Juan Diego, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Dermot, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summon before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments. Never let me be parted from you.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. By the body of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. live justly and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope and the coming of the glory of our great God. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Thanks be to God. Hail Queen of Heaven, the ocean star, guide all the wanderer here below. Throne on hung life's sight, we claim thy care. Save us from. Thanksgiving, O Mary, Virgin and Mother most holy, behold, we received your most dear Son, whom you conceived in your immaculate womb, whom you brought forth, nursed, and embraced most tenderly. Behold him at whose sight you used to rejoice and be filled with all delight, him whom humbly and lovingly once again we present and offer to you, to be clasped in your arms, to be loved by your heart, and to be offered up to the most holy Trinity as the supreme worship of Adam adoration for your own honor and glory and for our needs and those of the whole world. We ask you, therefore, most loving Mother, entreat for us the forgiveness of all our sins and in abundant measure the grace of serving your divine Son in the future more faithfully and at the last final grace so that with you we may praise him for all the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Just to mention to our viewers on Facebook and YouTube, do please uh, keep an eye out later today. We'll have other videos, of course, but uh, this afternoon at 3 o'clock, our Divine Mercy Hour with Deacon Don and Kevin King will be live on camera as well. Join us for prayer then. And a special Holy Hour this evening once more at 8 p.m. will be live on camera also if you want to join us for prayer visually as well as audibly too. So thanks, Tara. Prayer for the beatification of servant of